Hi guys, Alessio, hope you're well. Guys, in this video, I wanna show you a chart of Bitcoin that potentially is going to shock you. In fact, I can guarantee you very few people even know about this chart, let alone talk about it. So we'll go into this in a few moments and what that potentially means. You see, for the last few months, in fact, as far back as August and June, July, a lot of you have been asking me, hey Alessio, why are you so bearish on Bitcoin? Why is it that you've been calling for Bitcoin to eventually drop back down to 8,000, maybe even to 7,000 levels? Why am I so bearish? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my key secrets. In fact, I'm gonna share with you guys in this video something that very few people even know about, even though guys, it's right there in front of you. Here's what I want you to do. What I want you to do is go on your chart and what I would like you to do is just switch the chart. So what you can do is go to the settings, the settings of your chart. Now, automatically by default, your chart is probably set to candles, candlesticks, or maybe to bars, okay? What I want you to do is change that to what's called line break. So all you gotta do is go down and select line break. Most charts have this, by the way. So click line break. And what this does is shows you a different calculation, a different way of computing the price, all right? Now, it kind of looks like candlesticks, but it's not. It's not the same thing as candlesticks. And it's definitely not the same thing as most of the other chart uh, kind of uh, formations out there. So why is this chart so important and why was this chart telling me that we're about to go lower take a look at this by the way towards the end of the video i'll explain to you in more detail what a line break chart actually is and how it's constructed but for the moment i just want you to look at this chart you see guys when i saw this chart a few months ago actually about over a month ago it shocked me take a look at this i took a screenshot of my chart of this particular chart back in august in the beginning or the middle of august so this is an actual screenshot from the middle of August on Bitcoin. And when I saw this on the line break chart, I was shocked and it really concerned me. So guys, again, what I'm sharing with you in this particular video right now is something that very few people even know about, all right? You see, line break charts are hardly used by anybody. And it's important that you keep an eye on it because it can be very useful. The first time I came across line break charts was many years ago, over seven years ago now, when I went to a seminar and this trader was, was talking about it. And ever since then, I've been using it and looking at it. So let me tell you why it's important. Here's something I saw on Bitcoin, which very few people even noticed. You see guys, back in July and August of this year, this is what happened on Bitcoin. We saw a parabolic, a parabolic rise in Bitcoin, which I'm sure you all know about, but here's what's happened on the line break chart. On the line break chart, Bitcoin had a massive drop, quite a pullback, a pullback, you want to call it that, retracement back to the 21 moving average on the line break chart. So what you're seeing here, guys, is a drop to the 21 moving average, exponential moving average on the line break chart. It bounced, okay? And then look what happened. After it bounced from that 21 average, it went back below it, which is why I took the screenshot, because it worried me. You're probably thinking, well, wh what's the big deal? Why, why is that worrying me? Because the exact same thing happened. Take a look at this. The exact same thing happened in 2017 and 18. This is what happened after the major bubble in Bitcoin burst in the year 2017, uh, about a couple of years ago now. So take a look at this. Parabolic rise in Bitcoin. Okay, this was 2017 in November, December. Then look what happens. Dropped to the 21 moving average on the line break chart, bounced, and then, boom, went below it. Does that look familiar? Guys, without a doubt, what you're seeing here on this chart, on the line break chart of Bitcoin in 2017, 2018, looks almost identical to what I saw back in August of this year. And when I saw that, I said, whoa, hold the phone. This is really interesting because look what happened in 2017, 2018. So first we had a pullback. Now at first I thought, well, so what? It's a pullback, sure, because we've had pullbacks before. And in 2017, we did have pullbacks, no big deal. So this is 2017. Uh, for most of that year, we had pullbacks at 21 average and bounced, 21 average bounced. But this one was interesting for one important reason, because first of all, we had enormous euphoria, enormous bullish and extremely optimistic sentiment in Bitcoin. Everybody was rushing in, massive parabolic rise, hitting the 20,000, well, almost 20,000 levels there. And then a pullback when everyone panicked, then a bounce. What was interesting is the fact that Bitcoin once again went below the 21 average. So guys, what you have to appreciate is this. What's interesting is 
not just the fact that Bitcoin bounced the first time, but more importantly, the fact that it went below it again, okay, just a few bars afterwards, okay? So this is the pattern I was looking for, sort of a boom, crash, bounce, and then boom, we go back below it again. So, and look what happened. The second time when it went below it, immediately after the first one, it continued to drop and bleed. Whoa, look at that. And just continued to drop and get destroyed like that. And then eventually it turned green and it formed a base here. So it started forming a base in the 6,000, well, almost the 6,000 levels here, okay? So that's what's so interesting about this. By the way, let me show you one more example. This is the year 2013. You may recall the massive parabolic rise we had in 2013. There we go. That was the massive parabolic, one of the earliest major bubbles we had back in Bitcoin in 2013. And look what happened. After that parabolic rise and massive euphoria, public opinion sentiment became very bullish. Then it crashed, it dropped to the 21 average, went below it first and then bounced and then went back below it again. So guys, the pattern, the reason why this pattern can be useful is not so much the first immediate drop that occurs, but what happens after the bounce, okay? So after it goes back the second time below it is what's so interesting about it, okay? Notice, by the way, that the after the bar turned green, it moved to the 21 average again, got rejected, and then kept falling again, okay? So a very fascinating pattern, which is the reason why when I saw this happening in August of this year, I was almost 80% convinced that Bitcoin was going to drop lower, which is why I kept saying in my, in my videos, guess what, guys? Very likely we're going to head lower and go into that wild card potential scenario, the 8,000, potentially to the 7,000 levels there. By the way, let me show you this. So here it is. Here's that line break chart. Compare this, compare what I saw back in August, okay, to what happened in the year 2017 and 2018. Look familiar? Very familiar. Look at that. So you can see the parallels and similarities. So very interesting pattern, very interesting chart. Let's take a look at the chart right now on Bitcoin. So this is what's happening on the line break chart on Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is set to the daily time frame chart. So at the moment, look, we're below the 21 average. Okay, remember, after we fell to the 21 first time, bounced, and then we went below it again, we're currently below the 21 average, which means what? Which means if we get a green bar, let's say we get a green bar here and we bounce, okay? Well, guess what? Even if we get a green bar, that 21 average is going to become resistance, okay? That 21 average is going to be resistance on Bitcoin. That level right now is what? 9,560. And by the way, guys, the bars have not officially turned green yet. We're still kind of in the red, the red bar zone here, and we could potentially see further downside here. So this is one chart to keep your eye on here, guys. So again, just to give you a heads up, that's the chart you want to also pay attention to, the line break chart. Now, in case you want to know a little bit about what line charts actually are and how they're formed, here's an interesting article on TradeStation. Uh, I'll put the link for you also in the description box, but let me just uh, read, that, read a few things here. So guys, according to this article, the line break chart is a more subtle form of point and figure chart. It says over here, line break charts are most commonly known as three line break charts. This is because once there are three consecutive lines, three consecutive lines in the same direction, the close must break the most recent three lines. So break the most recent three lines in order to draw a line in the opposite direction. There's an example chart right there. It actually gives a much more detailed kind of a description and explanation. So it says uh, how a line break chart is built. By the way, guys, don't go sleep on me here. I know it's kind of a long paragraph, but let's just go through it as, as much as we can. Uh, line break charts, it says, are built by the addition of new lines based on the position of the close relative to the most recent low, high, low values. And then it says a new upline is added to the close. The current bar is greater than the high of the previous upline and a downward reversal occurs only if the close of the current bar is less than the low of the previous. Oh, God, I give up. I give up. Sorry, guys, I really couldn't be bothered to read that entire paragraph. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will put the link to that article for you in the description box below this video. So you can go ahead and read that uh, article for yourself. So again, for all the nerds and the geeks out there, uh, please knock yourself out. Uh, that link is in the description box for you guys out there. So bottom line is, guys, uh, this is quite an interesting chart. We may still see more red bars. So there is officially as yet no green bar yet. So as you can see here, the bars are still red. No official uh, change of color as yet. So guys, what I've just shared with you in this video is a key secret that many people don't even know about, let alone even talk about. So I'm hoping some of the ideas I've shared in this video has probably just blown your mind. My brain is in recovery mode from taking in so many high-level important ideas.
All right, guys, so thanks very much indeed. And guys, if this video has helped, please give it a thumbs up. And also please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future video updates. Thanks very much. Bye for now.